Richard Flanagan, Gould's Book of Fish, is a postmodern novel that defies easy categorization. At its core, it is a tale of the real-life convict William Bulow Gould, who was transported to the notorious Sarah Island in Van Diemen's Land, now Tasmania, in the early 19th century. But Flanagan's version of Gould's story is anything but straightforward. Instead, he presents a fictionalized Gould who not only paints pictures of fish but also has the power to manipulate reality with his art. The novel is presented in the form of a collection of Gould's paintings, along with footnotes and annotations by the fictional editor of the book, who claims to have discovered Gould's paintings in a Tasmanian museum. These footnotes and annotations are crucial to understanding the narrative, as they provide historical context and background information that is often missing from Gould's own story. One of the most striking features of Gould's Book of Fish is its use of language. Flanagan prose is poetic and lyrical, filled with vivid descriptions of the natural world and Gould's artistic creations. At the same time, the novel is peppered with coarse language and graphic descriptions of violence and brutality, reflecting the harsh realities of life on Sarah Island. Throughout the novel, Flanagan explores themes of power, oppression, and the nature of reality. Gould's ability to manipulate reality with his art is a central metaphor for the power of storytelling and the ways in which narratives can shape our understanding of the world around us. The novel also delves into the power dynamics at play on Sarah Island, where the convicts are subjected to brutal treatment at the hands of their jailers. Gould's own status as a convict and an artist highlights the tension between creativity and conformity, and the ways in which those in power seek to control and exploit those who are different. At the heart of the novel is Gould himself, a complex and often contradictory figure. Through his paintings, we see glimpses of his inner world and his struggle to make sense of the harsh realities of his life. At the same time, he remains something of an enigma, and Flanagan deliberately leaves many questions unanswered. Is Gould really able to manipulate reality with his art, or is this simply a manifestation of his own madness? Is the editor of the book a reliable narrator, or is he also part of Gould's fictional world? Ultimately, Gould's Book of Fish is a challenging and thought-provoking work that defies easy interpretation. It is a testament to the power of storytelling and the ways in which art can challenge and subvert our understanding of the world around us. Flanagan's masterful use of language and his ability to weave together history, fiction, and philosophy make this a truly unique and unforgettable novel.